Hi guys, so I am heading to my first location for Half Price Books. Don't worry, I'm gonna stop the light, so I'm not filming while I'm driving because I don't have a place to like hold it. But um, I'm doing this on my phone, so hopefully it is okay. I don't know if you can hear that music, sorry. Um, yeah, this light is taking forever, but I'm heading up five locations, so I'm really excited. And we'll see what I get. Um, I've already been to my first two on Friday, so I'm probably just gonna get in and out. Gotta get gas, the light's changing, so I'll talk to you later. So I got gas. And I can't tell if this person going in has a key because it is currently, oh, she knocked. Okay. So they're opening in five minutes. So I got, it took like 10 minutes to get here. Yeah, I'm assuming she's an employee. Um, it took me 10 minutes to get here and then it took me two minutes to get gas. My hair is like looking fresh right now. So I don't know what I want to get. Someone is in the car behind me and I'm probably watching. Oh god, you can't see me on the camera. Um, yeah. I don't know. I'll just wait here for five minutes. Probably look at some Instagram. I don't know. I probably am going to get uh, Muse of Nightmares. I want to get Vicious and Vengeful by V.E. Schwab, but I don't know if Vengeful vicious as their vengeful is but I'll go check so first stop I ended up getting Muse of Nightmares it's $16 so I got it for $8 and that's really exciting also half price book says if you buy $25 gift card you get a free $5 gift card to use in January so I'm gonna be spending more than $25 today just spent eight so I went ahead and bought a gift card as well I'll be right back Hi, I'm trying to get into the shade here. So I just picked up A Very Large Expanse of Sea by Teher Mafi. It's a signed first edition, which is really cool. There wasn't really anything in there I wanted, so in the last video it kind of cut off. There's a scratch in the side of this. It like looks like they had a box cutter and like totally scratched open a hole. It's not that big of a deal, but I went back inside the other store and the cover of the other edition they had was like crumpled in the corner, so I didn't get that. And the last copy they had, someone else had it in their hands. So at this new one, so I'm gonna just keep on bringing that copy in to see if I can replace it So it's not scratched, but this was eight bucks as well, and I think this is a really important book Because it's so true and I love to hair my now and um, I haven't seen a lot of people talk about it So that's why I got it, but I'm gonna go to my next location 20 minutes away. See you later All right, so They did have a new copy of Muse of Nightmares, but then I got two books and he was like, okay It's gonna be nine dollars and I was like it should be like five bucks what the heck he's like oh well I used your half price on your Muse of Nightmares I was like no I used that half price at the other location so I should get to be able to use it at this location and he like seemed like he did not want to give it to me but I was like dude come on I literally just want to exchange it and then get a new book for half price so I ended up finding it was really exciting Heart Cell by Lauren Lane this is book two in the series and I recently bought book one and I'm really excited so I got this for three bucks and then I found The Siren by Tiffany Reese for $2 in clearance. So excited about that. This one, uh, my friend Lacey from Lacey Book Lovers loves Tiffany Reese. And it's a good series I've heard. So I've got four books. I spent five bucks in there. So good stop. All right, so I just went to the best one in my town in Columbus. And it was awful. They didn't have anything I wanted. But I did find an Eloisa James book, uh, Wild in Love. I'm pretty sure I don't have this one. I'm sorry about this sun it's like there we go um so it's four bucks so i got it for two dollars and i was like i want to get something like ten dollars so i can like save more but i didn't want to force myself to get something i'm 90 percent sure i don't have this i looked at my instagram and i had a, the last time i took a picture of my historical romances was in the summer so it does not update it i looked at my book haul on youtube and i had not talked about this so i'm pretty sure i don't have this one i have one more left to go it's about 20 minutes away from here so yeah pretty successful so far but I'll talk to you later. Alright, so I just got finished at the last location. I found um, 
These Broken Stars by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner for $3. And I've heard it's really good on the romance aspect, so I was really excited. And then I, like, debated. They had With the Twist by Stacey Hart, but that doesn't have the best reviews. And um, that was really the only good indie book I found. Um, but then I decided to get Wonder Woman Warbringer. I think my sister will really like this book. Um, and I told her I'd get her a book that I think she'd like. And so it was only five bucks. And so I just spent the rest of my gift card. I have 70 cents on my gift card left. So I did pretty well. And I, I'm just so in the mood for fantasy, if you can't tell, and YA right now that I didn't really get a lot of romance. So it was a really um, fantasy YA driven book haul. Um, but I'm really excited to have this now. This is my shelf. And hopefully my sister will read it and she'll like it as well. And yeah, that's how today went. Five stores. It's almost noon. So I got to go home. I'm tired. It took about two. I left at, what? I got the first four at three, at nine. So it's about three hours. Yeah. Of book shopping. So it was pretty successful. Yeah. Um, okay. I'm gonna go home. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you want me to do this again. Bye.